Nula Amru Yisrael, there are Libeir and Nula that says that this is giving Keach, this is giving the potential to the Jewish nation to be able to accomplish their Aveda. When did they say it? At the end of the 40 years in the desert. Although the bear, the fountain, the bear, the, the, the bear was given to them at the beginning of Arboim, which was in the merit of Miriam, and that's when it was given to them, and they had it for 40 years. Ki Yisrael shahoyu bamidbar Because the Yidin, that they were in the desert, although they were an intellectual generation, as it's mentioned in Kabbalah, and as you see in the, in the footnote, look at the Teirah, that they didn't want to go into Etz Yisrael because they were on the level of world of thought or world of speech. And they didn't want to descend into the matters of Etz Yisrael, into, into land matters and physical matters. They wanted to remain spiritual. They were on the level of the world of thought. That even in this physical world, they lived on the standard of world of thought. From that alone, they did not attain the unique quality that they received from being involved in this physical world. Because this ilu, this quality, is done through the re- exclusively through the refinement of physical objects, which was when they came into the civilized land, Eretz Yisrael. This is why the shira, this song was said, and the mention of the Be'er was said at the stage of the generation that was already going into Israel, Be'sefar Bo'im at the end of the 40 years, Lefneyak Nisal right before they went in. This was the last year. Because Miriam was Nifter Yudnison, and the next year, Yud Nissen was already, uh, they were already going in the next year, in Yud Nissen. If I'm not mistaken, it, it says that there was the, I mean, it says in Yeshua that there was the Bris then. The Stalkus of Mesha was Ayinoda. 30 days later, I finished the Shleshim of Mesha, the Pchir Mesha. And then after that, uh, they went in Yud Nissen, Yud Nissen, Yud Alof Nissen. It says they made the Bris then. The, everybody that they didn't make a Bris in the desert 40 years. They made Mila, but not Priya. So therefore, they made they, they completed it then, and then it says, "Hayim Galasi Cherpas Mitzrayim Aleichem." I have removed the Cherpas Mitzrayim, is the the low class quality that they had up till then. Yet from so Bemela, this happened, Mamish a year, right a year earlier than that. Kainian there it's Yisrael, Luinian Birudvare Magashmim Dafke. That why is it that it, it applies dafka exclusively to Eretz Yisrael? Because Eretz Yisrael, the union of Eretz Yisrael, is refining physical objects, refining and elevating them to a spiritual standard. Shal yidei zanasi ilu yanal. This this is what it bring contributes the special quality teva oritz meid meid. That it says teva oritz the land is good meid very good meid another meid very very good. This is because this is where the, and because it, because the potential of the goodness of Eretz Yisrael is brought out through physically being involved and refining Eretz Yisrael by doing, fulfilling the commandments in Eretz Yisrael. And that is why Meshach Rabbeinu wanted to go into Eretz Yisrael. As it says, Parsha Vashanan, it says, Vashanan El Hashem, he says Vashanan, the Medrash says the word Vashanan is Begimatria 515. He did 515 tefillahs, prayers, to go into Eretz Yisrael. So the Gemara asked the question, what did he want to go in to eat its fruit? He says, no. He wanted to go in to do mitzvahs. Pashat, he wanted to go in because this is where he will be able to fulfill mitzvahs, which they can do with Afghan Eretz Yisrael. And this is, um, and this is also connected with the Sikha that the Rebbe spoke then. 
In the, uh, the, the Nunalaf, 91, it was the last of us, Hanan, the Rebbe spoke then, Benegiyah to Meshach Rabbeinah, that Meshach Rabbeinah was demanding to go into Etz Yisrael. Although, Medevish, they told him, Rav Loch Al Tesev Dabar Eli, that forget it, I already spoke with you, we're not discussing the matter anymore. Mesha was still pushing. So the Rebbe says that this shows that Bishas, it was called Masha Imelach Balabais Asei Chutz Mitzei. The Gemara says there are others that are looking for it, the source for it. It's in Svergi Brach in Gemara. That when you are a guest in someone's house, you should follow everything the owner tells you besides when he tells you to leave. <laughs> you should. You should listen to everything besides when it tells you to leave. Chutz say, Some people had doubts where the source for this is because it just doesn't sound ethical, doesn't sound right. The whole from the Dizdo. Not a Gemara? So, huh? Not a Gemara? No, it isn't Gemara, yeah. But the others say that it's not really an, uh, a genuine piece. It fell. I don't know. They, they, some people are like arguing with this. The whole from the Rebbe says this is what Meshe Rabbeinu was doing. Meshe Rabbeinu was fighting, arguing to the last point. He wanted to be together with his nation. Wanted to go on together with them. Whoever was going in. It, and Mele, he was arguing, Pashat, this is what the Rebbe was saying then. It was a de Kasicha. It's a tape. It's in, it was a middle of the week. It was when the Rebbe came back from the Eil. It was like a Sicha that we were looking at each other, what's going on there. This was right uh, in the middle of the, this was already the last 11 months, uh, Nisan year, was. It was, it was some of the last eight, eight months before the stroke. Rebbe was talking then, and we, we understood from the Sikha what was going on in that the Rebbe is struggling to finish the Golas. <clears throat> that since the generation that went into Eretz Yisrael, stood with sacrifice, self-sacrifice, and uh, sacrifice, and with, with his desire to go into the good and broad land, especially in the end of the 30, 40 years. They already had the whole preparation, what they needed, by going through the Midbar, the spiritual preparation. They already conquered Sichan Veik, she asked Cholos in Yanak Nisalar to Israel. This was already the beginning of entering at Israel. Leira Kachona Vagdomel Aknisa, Legamas Cholos Aknisa. Not only the preparation, but also the beginning of the entering. Part of the entering. Shari Eret Sichan Veik, he shoveled at Israel. The Eretz Yichon Vegi is similar to Eretz Yisrael ben Egeir lekama dinim ben Egeir to many dinim that they have that certain inyanim truma meiser under inyanim which is which is mentioned in Bikurim in footnote thirty five you have over here inyanim that it's higher that dinay uh, ever ayarden it's interesting there's a maimer from the Tzemach Tzedek Tzemach Tzedek or in Parshas Masai or in Parsha Bayetze you be the yarden but I'm forgetting but I think it's in Parsha Masai. The Al-Tareb, the the era the Tzemach Tzedek brings. Why is it that Bnei Ruven wanted Dafka, the, the 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 outside, the outskirts of Eretz Yisrael, although it's Mekudish also. So Tzemach Tzedek brings. I don't know where it's from. Tzemach Tzedek's word or whatever. He brings a very gishmake word. He says that Tzemach Tzedek says that Bishasi was in Parsha Vayetze. It says yeah uh, uh, Ruven went and he brought the doyim. Vayovi Ruven, Ruven the doyim. He brought the doyim, which are flowers. He brought him. He brought him home. And then Rachel wanted to uh, use it and lay the ganze. <coughs> so it says. So it says that in the same comparison that the doyim have to a fruit, the same comparison is Eved Ayarden to Eretz Yisrael. Since his inyan was the doyim, so when he came to the land. It was, he was inclined that he wanted the outskirts of Dafke. Dafke, the, the, although Menashe was also in God. Because this was already the going into Eretz Yisrael, where they're going to be dealing with a physical world. And therefore they needed the energy and the potential. That they accomplished in Yidin, that they accomplished in Yidin, that they accomplished that the Yidin, the Jewish nation, should say the song, which expresses the Aveda, the service of the Jewish nation, as the, uh, the Nishama, on a personal level, individual level, the Nishama in the body. Speaking about B'nai God, 